What's going on everybody? This is Jackie Terry and I'm on my way to the gym but before I do that I'm gonna get a couple home workouts in and this is really gonna stimulate my muscles when I go to that gym so I'm already prepped I don't have to warm up and I can hop right into what I want to get into. So I'm just gonna pre up by doing some home workouts as you see on my bed. I got multiple, multiple different weights and that we're, we're just gonna cause a whole lot of muscle confusion today. Sometimes it's not all about lifting heavy. It's all about confusing that muscle with different weight. So if you add a five pound difference to each weight you lift, then your body is going to get confused because now you're tricking your body, you're tricking your muscles, you're tricking your muscle fibers into growing. A five pound difference means a lot. It goes a long way. So five pounds, you're pitching, you're putting extra stress on whatever muscle you're working. So today we're just going to work out my favorite muscle group, of course, the biceps, the arms. And from doing these home workouts, I've really been toning up something good and as you can see the cuts, the shoulders, these, these are all from home workouts, you know, um, at the gym I usually, I usually just bench press, I do squats and you know, I really don't work on my arms that much because I work on them at home with my dumbbells. So let's get right to it. This is Jackie Terry's training one on one. I'm showing you guys some different techniques to get big shoulders, big arms, big wrists all in this one video. Let's get started. So we're going to start off with the 25 pounds and immediately we're just going to just going to work on our forearms and as you see just twisting these weights, rotating them, getting a really good forearm pump. Ah, yeah, that feels real good. Once again, we're going to bring it up just like that. Just lower it. Kind of let it roll off our wrists. Ah, this is really good forearm exercise. Anytime you just rotate these dumbbells in a certain position, just like this, rotate it back and forth. Gonna be working out a lot of your forearms. As you see, it's really tough with 25 pound weights. So, essentially, right now I'm already feeling that burn, which is good. I'm already kind of going into, into that stimulation mode. Anytime you feel that burn, you're gonna cut right into the stimulation mode and you're going to feel it. And that's what you want to feel. You want to feel that burn. So you want to keep that burn going. And right now, I'm not even worried about counting my reps. I'm just doing it until it burns. Wow. Really good forearm pump. So now, essentially, I'm going to cut the weight down to 10 pounds. <clears throat> just kind of cool down my forearms. Once again, I haven't taken a rest yet we want to keep that momentum want to keep that heart rate up so essentially i was up at a heavy weight now i'm at a cool down weight at 10 pounds just fairly warming up my body this is all about muscle confusion coming down from a heavy weight all the way to a lighter weight hey my muscles are confused they don't know what's going on and i really feel a burn with this 10 pound weight so these are just two different exercises in one so if you start heavy or some semi heavy weight always go down to a light weight and kind of cool that body down essentially with the light weight as you see I got a lot more control and I'm able to get more reps okay perfect my forearms feel really good feel like they're on fire that's what we want we want big forearms, we want big arms. I'm gonna show you how to get big shoulders now. Once again, we're gonna take the 25 pound weight. We're just gonna bring it up just like that. Nice regular reps. Maybe for about maybe 10 reps. Maybe even 12. And you see, going at a nice normal pace. I'm breathing in. Breathing out. And I already feel a good pump in my shoulders just by bringing both of these weights up at the same time. 
Wow. Wow, semi-heavy weight. I think we got two more reps. Oh, wow. Woo. Shoulders are still burning. Now, did you see, I haven't took a break yet. Once again, I grabbed the 10-pound weights. And this is where that cool down. It's that cool down I'm talking about. And I'm simply just cooling down my body by touching on this heavy weight. I essentially still feel the burn from those 25 pounds. And now I'm just cooling it down with that light weight. Ugh, it's working. Just stimulating more muscle fibers, more muscle growth in those shoulders. It's all about muscle confusion, you guys. Light to heavy or heavy to light. It doesn't matter. And as you see, got complete control. So even if I want to pause and hold it and keep that tension, I can. What makes the workout even tougher? So I'm strengthening my joints up. Ah, wow. Just holding it, just like this, time under tension. Now gently lower it. Now, not only am I working out my shoulders, I'm working out my wrists, working out everything, even my biceps. Just holding this 10 pound weight in the air, just like this after coming off a heavy lift, it's tough. So I'm stimulating all type of muscle growth in my shoulders, forearms, everything's kicking in. Now, if we want to up the ante, we can do the same thing with 15 pound weights. Look at this, you guys. These are 15 pound weights. It's all about increasing the weight up to 5% and stimulating more muscle growth. So I just added five more pounds. And right now, I'm switching the weight up and I'm doing isolations. Once again, Regular reps, really working out those shoulders. Ah, wow, and I already feel it. Once again, no breaks. This is straight, full speed ahead. No breaks. Ah, wow, we'll do it for about 10 reps. Really stretching that shoulder out. Ah, wow, now you see, I'm struggling with the 15 pounds. Because as you see, that 15, that extra five pounds is definitely making a difference. Wow. And sometimes your other arm might get a little bit tensed up after doing these type of techniques. So don't be afraid to kind of stretch out your other arm while you're working out this arm. It's all about getting those shoulders intact, <clears throat> keeping that tension. Right now, you see me just doing regular pace reps. I'm not doing slow, I'm not doing fast, just on regular pace. Normal speed, coming down at a normal pace. Once again, you guys, rep speed is everything. Say if I did want to do this at a faster pace, then, hey, everything is gonna increase my heart rate, everything. I'll show you guys what it looks like. <clears throat> Everything's increasing. <sighs> heart rate, Ugh. just from going at a faster pace. So rep speed is very important. You can switch your rep speed up in the middle of a set. So you can do a normal set and then automatically go into a faster rep speed. <sighs> which is actually causing more tension and more stimulation on that shoulder just by going faster. So never be limited to one speed. There's all types of different speeds you can use. You can slow it down, you can do normal speed, or do fast paced speed. Everything counts, everything. And it's all in your game because in 10 minutes, my shoulders are on fire. Uh, it's going to help me out in those key lifts when I go to the gym today on that bench press. 
So my body's already warmed up for that 315 or that 225 or maybe even a couple hold reps I want to do. Once again, I'm going at a nice fast pace. Whew. Heart rate is up where I want it to be. Uh, we just want to keep going. Wow. Once again, as you see, you guys, it's not a game. In a matter of 10 minutes, I got a really good pump. I'm sweating. I got a really good pump on my shoulder. In a matter of 10 minutes, just by decreasing the weight, increasing the weight by 5%, by 10 pounds, 5 pounds, doesn't matter. You just want to make sure you decrease or increase the weight during your sets so you can basically confuse that muscle and get it to grow. The main objective in lifting weights is to stimulate more muscle growth, stimulate all your muscle fibers and get them working at the same time. Once again, I'm just stretching. And what I'm going to do now is simply grab these 25s again. We're going to do some double arm curls and stimulate those biceps. Just like this. Back straight. We're not leaning. We're not rocking. We're keeping that back straight. Head up in the air. We're going down. All the way down. Good range of motion. I want to go halfway. I want to go all the way down. Good range of motion. Now you can go halfway if you want. Just like this. That's good. But make sure you bring it all the way down as well. You want the best of both worlds. You want the workouts to be tough. Once again, go all the way down and really flex that bicep. Really grip on to this dumbbell as well. The more you grip on to a dumbbell or a bar, the harder you grip on to it, the more it's going to stimulate that central nervous system. So when you stimulate that central nervous system, every part of your body is going to be awake. Because now you're tapping on that light switch that was essentially asleep. Uh, you see, I'm doing multiple curls. I'm doing isolations now. Because the double arm curls are a little bit too much. I might go into muscle failure. Or I might throw my form off. And one thing is, you always want to practice good form when working out. Uh, wow. Wow, I am on fire. Whew. We got to keep that blood pumping. So, once again, I'm taking a rest. Maybe a 10 or 20 second rest. And as you see, guys, I'm moving around. I'm moving. I'm not just standing in one spot. I'm not just standing. The main objective is to keep that heart rate up. The better you're able to keep your heart rate up, the more fat you're going to burn. So you might see me jogging on my cool downs. I think it's been about 30 seconds. Heart rate still up. I'm still in that fat burning stage. What we're gonna do? I'm gonna pick up some more of these weights. Uh, and bring it up just like that. And as you see, I'm going wider, touching my shoulders while I'm doing this. Uh, stimulating my chest muscle. Uh, once again, isolations. You want to be able to stimulate as much these muscle fibers as possible. And the main objective is to burn fat and build muscle is to decrease your rest times. You know, there's some people that take like a two minute rest in between lifting weights. That's too long. The highest is a minute. You want to take at least a 60 second rest and get right back into it. Whew. As you see, I'm only taking 30, 20 second rest. Or maybe even a 10 second rest. Because I, you know, I really feel pumped. I really feel jacked right about now. So essentially what I want to do, body's warmed up. I'm essentially grab these 40s. Because once again, it's all about muscle confusion. So I'm going to grab these 40s. I'm going to do some more workouts. Ugh. Overhead shoulder press. Just like that. We're going, to, we're going to do some tricep extensions. Once again, everything counts. My muscles are 
constantly confused. Right? They're constantly confused. Now I'm doing triceps. We essentially turn this, oh wow. We essentially turn this into a curl. Oh. Wow. As you can see, sweat dripping on my face. Woo. It's only been about 15 minutes. And I'm already feeling this pump. And my muscles, they feel tight. <laughs> Just by switching the weight up. Cutting the weight, increasing the weight by five pounds. When you're done with this exercise, feel free to kind of stretch out. That's what counts too. The more flexible, the more durable you are when you work out, the better your range of motion is when you're when you're benching or lifting dumbbells so you want to make sure your body is always flexible you don't want to be stiff because if you have a stiff body all the time you might risk an injury so always continue to just stretch out keep those joints loose at all times once again you know i've been cutting up something really good really good I've been, I've been doing home workouts. I've been getting stronger. My bench press has gone up from doing these home workouts simply with dumbbells. All I'm doing is simply decreasing and adding on more weight as I work out during each set. So each set, I'm increasing or each set, I'm decreasing the weight by at least five pounds. You guys do and guarantee You'll get the chest you want. You'll get the shoulders you want. You'll get the arms you want. You'll get the traps you want. Everything will come into play. See, you guys, when you, when you essentially build muscle, when you build muscle, it muscle cuts into your fat. You're going to burn a lot more calories just by lifting free weight. Just by doing free weight, doing different exercises, you're going to burn a lot more calories in a short amount of time than you would on the treadmill. So my advice is definitely invest into some dumbbells. They really come in handy and it's all about how you work out. Remember, it's all about rep speed, controlling the weight, and adding and decreasing the weight through different parts of your sets. This is Jackie Terry. It's nice working with y'all. Hard work and dedication, that's the ultimate key. Always stay focused on your goals. There's nothing's impossible. If you want to get ripped, if you want to get shredded, just like this, if you want to get shredded, go ahead and invest into some dumbbells, do home workouts, and invest into this pull-up bar because that will help you out in your core exercises as well. It will help you out in your core strength, biceps, and even help you get that six-pack that you want. I was able to kind of bring my six pack out with this with this pull up bar as well. So everything counts. Fairly cheap price. Once again, you can invest into one dumbbell. You don't have to have, you know, two dumbbells all the time. Invest in one dumbbell. Do isolations. They help. They'll act, it's actually beneficial than using two dumbbells because now you're isolating that one muscle group and now you're forced to isolate the other so and essentially one arm now would it will not be stronger than the other they'll both be equally the same just by doing isolations jackie terry jackie's training one-on-one -on -one, baby it's time to hit that gym